If you have blocks of code like this, let's have a look and see how we can clean it up. So here we have a list of string called names. We're going to add all the names and then print them all out to the screen. But as you can see, we have three main steps. We create the list, we add the names, and then we print them out. What will be better if we break it down into steps and we can add these inside functions and call them inside the main. So let's get started. This first line is quite simple. It just creates a list of names and that is it. And after that, we have a section where we add the names to the list. And finally, we print all the names out at the end. So let's break this down. We can have a public, public static void, and we can say add names. And we can pass in our list of names inside here. And we can simply take this list. We can cut it using control X and paste it using control V down here. And then we can simply just call it inside here. We can say add names and then we can pass the names list straight into the parameter. We can simply just add it in here and pass in the list of strings name variable straight into the parameter. And that is one complete. Now let's do the next one. So we can say public static void and we can do print names and do exactly the same thing. We have a list of string and we have a names parameter. Put the curly brace on the next line and simply take this code and drop it inside here. And then we can call print names and add the names variable. So as you can see now, our main function has only two main purposes to create the list, call the functions and just hold the console read line. So our console doesn't close once we run the code. And if we reduce these two functions down, we can now read it very simply. If we come back to it after a few projects, we simply create the list, then we add the names and then we print the names. If we're curious to what the functions actually do, we can go into them and then we can see the definition of each function. So if you run that code now, you can see that the output is going to be exactly the same as before. It's going to create the list, add the names, and then simply print them all out. So what we've now done is broken it down into functions and made sure that our code is as clean as possible. And we have names to determine each of the steps. We could also create another function for this one, just to create the names variable, but I don't think it's very necessary as it's just one line anyway, and it's very straightforward what it does. These are good steps to have because it's very descriptive. We're adding the names and then we're printing the names. If you have any additional steps down here, you should create another function and make use of it inside the main just to keep the main as small as possible and tidy and clean. That's it for this video. If you're interested, I have a C Udemy course linked underneath this video. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.